Alright guys, welcome back to Soup's Garage. On this video, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on your 2020 2.7 Custom Silverado. Alright, to get started, you're going to need an oil pan, the oil filter, some paper towels, a 3.8 ratchet with an extension, and of course the oil you're going to want to use. I'm going with 5W30, full synthetic oil, and just be sure that the oil you choose has the word Dexos on it. And I hope I said that right. Surprisingly, you're going to need six quarts for this small four-cylinder turbo engine. All right, so you're gonna get underneath your truck. You're gonna look for this plug right here. It's gonna be located on the left side, which is the driver's side. And as you can see on the right side, you got your oil filter. What I'm gonna get started on is the drain plug. And as you can see there, all you need is a 3 8 just to get that out. Now, it's not like a bolt where you gotta turn it completely out. All you have to do is turn it about halfway and that little plastic drain plug will come right out. So you shouldn't have to put too much force into it. All right, so you're just gonna attach your extension on your ratchet and just slide it right into the plastic drain bolt just like that and just simply turn and just be ready that the oil is going to be coming out all right so once you let all the oil out go ahead and inspect the gasket on the drain plug itself if everything looks good on it then go ahead and place it back into the oil pan once you've done that go ahead and put your extension back in there just like we did before and then just turn it and you'll feel it snap like you saw just now and then that's how you know it's tight all the way again do not tighten this like an actual bolt this is not supposed to be really tight it's just supposed to snap in place just for that gasket to seal properly all right now that we've taken care of that part now it's time to move on to the oil filter one thing i did forget to mention that i will be using is this clamp here and what this does is makes it a lot easier to remove this oil filter rather than you using your hand you could find these at any auto parts store and all it's designed to do is just grab that oil filter and remove it and when we put it back on we're gonna hand tight it not use any kind of tool to tighten it back up. You're just gonna put your tool on the oil filter just like I have now and connect the extension to it and use the same ratchet you used earlier and just turn to the left and it makes it a lot easier for you to pull this oil filter out versus trying to use your hands. You're gonna do this until you loosen it enough where you can turn it by hand and you won't have to use the tool anymore. Now you could choose to let it drain for a bit and then remove it or you could just simply remove it. You just have a higher chance of making a little bit more mess. All right, now we're going to grab our new oil filter and just be sure that you put oil on the new gasket that the oil filter comes with on this gasket right here. What that's going to do for you is the next time you do the oil change, it shouldn't be as hard to remove this oil filter. And if you do put it dry, it's going to be really hard to get this oil filter out and you're going to have a lot of struggles doing it. So go ahead and take your time to do that to save you some time next time. And again, we're just going to hand tight this because we don't need a tool to make this filter extremely tight onto the engine. But just to be clear, I will be tightening it as hard as I can with my hand. I do want to say if you do decide to use an aftermarket oil filter for yours, just be sure the next time you do an oil change that the old gasket from the aftermarket oil filter is not still there. Because obviously if you put the new filter on there on top of the old gasket, you're going to have a leak and you're definitely going to have a big mess to clean up once you start that engine. Alright, now we're moving on to the easy part. All we got to do is remove our oil cap, put it in our oil funnel, and fill her up with oil. And again, this engine does take six full quarts of oil. All right, gonna take our oil funnel out, put our oil cap back on, make sure it's on there tight. Now we're just gonna turn on the truck just for a couple of minutes for we can check the oil level. And while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and reset the oil light. And if your hood's open just like mine, all you gotta do to exit is just tap on this button here. You're gonna turn this knob to scroll down until you see the oil life. I have already reset it, but I will show you how to reset it again. You're just going to hold down on this button and it's going to ask you a yes or no if you want to reset the oil life. You're going to click on yes, give it a couple seconds and it'll reset it to 100% and you're good to go on that. Just to play it safe, we're going to make sure our oil level on our dipstick is right. And just to be clear, you want to have the engine sitting at least for 10 minutes just to be sure that all the oil settles down to the bottom of the engine and you don't get any inaccurate readings. We're gonna wipe it off on the first one. We're gonna dip it back in, all the way down, pull right back out. As you can see there, it's pretty close to the top, which is perfect, it's where I wanna be. So there you have it guys, it's pretty simple. If you wanna save yourself some money and do it at your home, there you have it. Just be sure that you got that oil cap on there tightly. And also, it doesn't hurt to double check to have the engine running and look where the oil filter and the oil drain plug is at, just to be sure that you have no leaks. But other than that, I hope this helps a lot of people out there, cause I know these trucks are pretty new. So that's gonna put an end to this video guys. Like always, if you like what you see and you like watching these videos to help you out, I really appreciate the support by subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. And like always, God bless every single one of you guys and I'll see y'all on the next video.